to meet the ladies to go on a little hiking trip. We're going to hike from Hopkins Prairie to 314. It's about 10 miles. Close another gap the Ocala section. Uh, the next one after that will be 314 to Lake Delancey. I'll show you the trail. Okay, we are off. <clears throat> Just left Hopkins Prairie parking. And um, he's already started his sniffing. Come on. We're going to do a, uh, we did a shuttle. So um, Deanna, she left her truck out there at 314. So we'll, do, we'll be doing about 10 miles today. Oops, which reminds me, I need to set my hiking up. I'll be back. Just popped out of the woods. Nice lake out there on the prairie. And there's a bat house out here. Let's go see the bat house. Check out the bat house. Pretty nice bat house. And we got Jackson down here. He's raring to go. And there's the trail over there. Come on, bud. Off to the north we go. We're going to skirt this whole Hopkins Prairie on this trail right here. So, new section. Winds blowing through the pines. Beautiful day. There's a slight breeze. Nothing like it was yesterday. Beautiful sun shining up there. Okay. I'm going to enjoy the scenery. I'll shoot some more later. Jackson leading the way. Bald eagle up there. I could zoom in on him. Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Oh, there he is. Oh, my, it's not focusing. Well, maybe we'll see the. Oh, there he is. Jackson, quit pulling. There he is.
And then again, I lost it. I think this one right here is an osprey. I could be wrong. If you'd come over here, I think is an osprey, but I'm not sure. Yeah, that's an osprey there. Oh, I wish I could find him. Oh, he's like right there. Watch Getting out of the prairie, and we're entering the woods. Starting to get a little bit warm out there. It is 11 o'clock. My hiking app quit working. I missed about a mile and a half compared to Deanna's hiking app. I guess I turned it off and didn't realize it. Oh, it feels much better back here. It was really pretty walking around that prairie. Took some pictures, took a little bit of video when I first started, but most of it's pictures. So we're, so we're three miles in, you said? Yeah. Cool. I think it's about 10 miles. Oh, is it finished that the dog keeps eating like that with other dogs? People think 99% of the time. There's a few people that are sketchy to me. Wow, look at that tree. Limbs just go on and on. I'm sure the wind is just eating this video up. All right, looks like we're going to leave the prairie now. What have we been walking on this like two and a half hours? Going around the prairie? Two yeah. hours? Yeah, two hours. Yeah, two hours, and I think we're fixing to go back in the woods right here again. Of course, luckily it's pretty cloudy, so it's not like we were dying. Oh, feel the burn, there's elevation change. <laughs> I'm from Florida. I can joke about flat, flat Florida. But it is, it is going uphill just a little bit right here. So we always joke about the elevation change and feeling the burn in our legs. Oh, what you see? Well, it looks like a nice little camp spot right there. Somebody could throw a tent up. Come on, Jax. The smell of Jackson keeps most wild animals away, if not for his little jingly little jewelry on his collar. Mm -hmm. The temperature is really nice now that we're out here in the woods, right off that prairie.
along the edge of a prairie with a, which it means like basically all water and wetlands in the middle and now we're back in the forest. And what are you eating? What are you eating? swam pretty good there for a minute. It's like the seventh wave. It's always the strongest. I didn't. Well, in the beginning I was. That last one was on the iPad. But yeah, I did it on my phone. All those other ones were from my phone. 54. Jackson, don't walk across. Baby, come on. Come on. Oh, that breeze feels good. Oh, there's some people down there in orange. And on purpose, so you wouldn't have that. Just finished lunch. We came from there. Nice little lunch spot. And three miles to Salt Springs. We're going straight three miles to 314, and that's where the truck's at. Jackson had his Vienna sausages. <laughs> we didn't leave nothing. This section is really nice. Picked a couple of ticks off of checks at lunchtime. Is. That is called the heart of a tree. And the reason they call it the heart of a tree is because it's the last part that's left of a decaying tree. That'll be the last part you find. Heart of a tree. There you go. Everybody's walking faster than me today, huh? The it's getting up there. This is the first time I've videoed this much hiking, so we'll see how this footage turns out. And it's the first time I've used this gimbal, even though I've had to lock it because the battery died after five minutes of use. So... This 11 Pro Max, it's got a pretty good stabilizer in it. It's usually not too jumpy. But maybe holding it on this gimbal and having it locked in. We've got 
better than holding. It's definitely a lot easier to hold this gimbal than it is the phone. What you see? Like that or oh, I see, it. Yeah. I see it. Yeah, like a hive on yeah. a. Oh, there it is. It's kind of interesting when you stand still and you can hear the trees clanking. Mm -hmm. This is a cool section, pine forest. The wind blowing through the pine sounds so cool. Too far from the end, maybe a couple miles. What do we got? Like a couple miles to go? Um, yep, about a mile and a half. I'm not really sure it's exactly 10 miles from Hopkins Prairie to 314. It's close to 10 miles, so we've got a mile and a mile and a half to go, I guess. I guess next weekend or whenever we'll go from 314 all the way to Rodman. No, Lake Delancey. That's how far. That's all we have to do. I've done Lake Delancey to Rodman. So just 314 to Lake Delancey. And then from Rodman to St. John's where the locks are at on Rodman. And then the only section I have left, which I'm going to wait for Beth on, is... Um, Alexander to Duck Pond because we did clear water to Duck Pond was our very first hike mm -hmm. where we camped out and um, we've never done that section so I want to do that with her huh came down a hill and it all goes downhill down there kind of like going towards a sinkhole or something like but it goes here's my finger goes up there and then comes down all this comes down all the way down into like a really low area right there the birds like this area there's birds singing oh Oh, that's a, um, a woodpecker. Just flew into that tree up there. Oh, there he is. Up. See him? See him? Oh, there's another yeah. one right there. Oh, they're all little woodpeckers. That one's on. Yep, that was a woodpecker, too. Wow. Old family woodpeckers living in here. to keep track of them where they're at. They just keep flitting from one place to another. So yeah, it's like little baby woodpeckers. Well, I 
guess I can go look. Let me go look and see what mile marker we are on the Florida Trail. It's going northbound. Are you thirsty? You want some water? Yeah? Going down into a little valley sinkhole. So we're changing elevations. <laughs> I hope we don't have to climb back out of this. <laughs> about ready to call it a day, Jackson. Yeah, you about ready to call it a day. Oh, we're going uphill. Feel the burn. And it's sandy. Gnarly trees. For real, I can feel this in my knees. <laughs> no, not yet, but I feel it in my knees. <laughs> He's definitely hearing something. Oh, I'm hearing dogs way off in the distance. Birds are singing. So you could throw some tents up right there. So this is 11. Yeah. 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 my heart almost went into my stomach because I thought this was pretty much for a minute. Oh, and your truck wasn't here. <laughs> Yeah. I don't know where 11 goes this way. This way, when you go on 11 and you pass the 88 store, you come to 316. And then, and it dead ends, I think you have to go right or left. But I've never gone the other way to see where it goes. So that's where 88 store got its name because it used to be on 88. Now it's called 11. Come on. We'll be heading to 314. Where hopefully Deanna's truck is still sitting. She almost had a heart attack when we came up here and she didn't see her truck. She thought that this was 314.
sure sounds 314's right out here and I see a, a truck. So, we even have a truck out here on 314 so far. Oop, there's another vehicle. There was one on the other side of the road when we got here, a car I think. And then we left Deanna's. And now I think there's two others out there right now. All right, well, that was our trip from Hopkins Prairie Trailhead to 314. Good thing it wasn't a hot day because going around that Hopkins Prairie would have been hot. You would have needed an umbrella.